Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the kingdom of heaven where all your dreams come true <laughs> and your nightmares are turned into wisdom for you to destroy the works of the devil. <laughs> oh man, I am a complete failure in my own strength but when we yield upon the Lord there is nothing we can't do you can even overcome we can overcome the world <laughs> just by yielding to him hallelujah there is nothing impossible to those who believe and belief comes through spending time with the living God to trample underfoot the religious one. <laughs> Hallelujah, bro. I've been having such a good and godly day because of my failures and yieldedness to the living God. <laughs> It is amazing how much grace is available to when you are absolutely humiliated for trying to do anything in your own strength. It's the best thing for you to do right now is to let go of trying to do everything like a Martha and just sit like Mary at his feet. Just yield to the living God. Hear his words. Let his words wash through you. Let his spirit gush through and to and out of you. <laughs> oh, just by being one with the living God. There's the water, the blood, and the spirit, and whatever. They all agree in one. What are they agreeing upon? You take, take some blood, take some water, dump them into a glass. It's instant. It's like, it's like the water and the spirit. Just that's the way it's supposed to be. It's potent. And just drink it in. You can't separate them. Oh, let nothing, nothing can separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, which is, which is who you are in. You are in Christ. You are in spirit Jesus. <laughs> Christ is spirit. Christ is the anointing. Christ breaks the yoke of the natural thinking, the natural mind, that crown of thorns that is the one in the Jesus's that stinking thinking to release the revelatory mind of Christ to us. That's what the anointing breaks off. It breaks off the cursed mindset so that we can focus on his thoughts. We can focus on his mind. We can, we have the mind. We? Oh, geez, that's my problem. It's me, myself, and I. When you pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, not my Father. <laughs> we have the mind of Christ. It's not just our opinions and everything else. It's seeing Jesus Christ in his body, it's seeing Jesus Christ. Period. <laughs> that produces the mind of Christ coming through you. If you can see Jesus in every situational life, even your nightmares turn into wisdom and understanding. Even the dreams you have, it's like, man, this is too good to be true. Well, there is one who, there's only one who is good, and he is true. <laughs> God makes all of our dreams come true. If it's too good to be true, it's probably God. Oh, it's like, there is way too much peace. And you can walk in this peace every day? <laughs> there is way too much living bread. I feel so satisfied on God. What do you mean it's called daily bread? I thought this was just once a week. <laughs> You mean we can march boldly to the throne of grace whenever we're in a time of need 
anytime you are hungry for God, you're in time of need. And listen, you got all the guides you want in your innermost being. We have all the Jesus Christ we can feast upon. He is the manna come down from heaven. We just need to get out of ourselves, get out of our tent, get out of our natural mind, and go look for that living bread that's waiting for us in heavenly places in Christ. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah, man. It's just time to get out of ourselves and into himself. Wow. There is so much peace on saying that. It's time to get out of ourselves and into himself. <laughs> it's time to get out. <laughs> Remember the first revelation? Uh, this is for only those people who like to twist the scriptures. <laughs> Just ring it out for all that anointing and oil. I was, God was teaching me about the keys of walking in the kingdom. And the first revelation he taught me was how to ring the scripture. Get that living water out of it. And he said to Abraham, get thee out of thine own country. <laughs> Leave everything that's basically familiar to you in Genesis chapter 12. I was reading the King James Version when it came out off the page. And wow, God, are you sure I'm supposed to teach us in Bible study on Friday? <laughs> that's not what the Bible says. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think the spirit on it was, was what made it true. One of the keys of walking with God is get thee out. What God was saying is, Chris, get crucified with Christ. Get your selfish nature out. Quit looking at yourself. And look at Jesus. <laughs> you need to get out of what's familiar to your natural and get familiar with what is supernatural in Christ. And it never gets familiar. It's like even the, the living creatures around the throne or the cherubim and the servant, they're like, holy! That's like, whoa! i never seen that about God. And then God just like does releases another like, yo! <laughs> I knew you were going to make it! He went, God jumps off the throne and he's excited? Ah! I thought he was just the judge! I thought we were just supposed to be terrified. And they're like, holy! He jumped off the throne and hugged that guy. God hugs people? Ah, you're breaking my religious box. Yes. God will jump off the throne and hug you and walk with you in the garden of intimacy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We picture him sitting on the throne all the time. Guilty! 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 <laughs> Everyone's guilty! <laughs> He's mad! <laughs> and then we don't realize the scripture says, The joy of the Lord is our strength, not the anger! <laughs> you know, don't test. <laughs> don't, 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 you know. Just, if you're in the sun, God is well pleased. <laughs> and he has the oil of gladness on him. So let's get in the sun and, and let the fun, <laughs> you know, let's run the race <laughs> in the sun. Hallelujah. There are so many attributes of God that we do not know. <laughs> That's why we need to go from glory to glory by ever beholding him. We got to take our lives, off, our eyes off of ourself and our life put into him. Who is our eternal life? Holy. Holy eternal life. W-H-O-L-L-Y and H-O-L-Y. <laughs> Multidimensional holiness. <laughs> it just is yours when you just sit at his throne and just to be with him or walk with him in the garden of intimacy. You know that God is love? <laughs> but the religious spirit has made it to be as God is mad. You know, he's always mad. There's always, always something wrong, you know? 
<laughs> uh, God already gave us the solution to every problem that we all ever have. What is that? What is that solution? You might ask. It's his son. You feeling frustrated with people? Get crucified with Christ. What is that? What is that? What was that stick was thrown into the waters? The bitter waters were made sweet. <gasps> you mean a stick is symbolic of a cross? Bitter waters, bitter words made sweet. The washing water of the word was made sweet. Yeah, go through the cross. Just get out of yourself and into himself. Man, he is sweetness to the max. Have you met candy floss, Jesus? <laughs> Bet you didn't even know there was a candy floss, Jesus. <laughs> We're so used to the, to the lion or the humble Jesus. But man, <laughs> Candy floss, Jesus? That's a little bit too much. <laughs> Jesus really wants to take me on a date? <laughs> Jesus really wants to have fun? It's not all just about the ministry. <laughs> what is perfect ministry? Perfect ministry is just like sitting at his feet, listening to the joy of the Lord bubble out of him. Listening to the peace of God that passes all understanding flood on him. Listening to the revelation of God that just blows your mind circuits and just intoxicates you in the spirit realm. And then just getting built up in the inner man by the Holy Ghost coming through Jesus so that you have words of life to manifest through your life. By only saying what he's spoken to you. By only doing what he shows you. That's the blueprint. The blueprint is Jesus the way he walked on the earth. Perfect ministry. It's no longer, it's not me doing the works. But it's the Father doing it through me, you know. Perfect ministry is yielding to the Spirit who does the works. It's the Spirit of God. But we will. We'll get frustrated like Mary and Martha or it was just Martha Mary Mary was so chill man she she figured out he has the words of life and I like life <laughs> this let's just sit here and rest sitting down is a place of rest before he Jesus multiplied the bread and the fishes he made the people sit down didn't he he made them come into a place of rest because when you're in a place of frantic and trying to strive and doing things in the flesh, you're not in a place of rest to feast. Jesus wants us to the seventh day rest. You know, 6,000 years from Adam, we're entering. We have begun the day of rest. Thousand years of reigning with him. What is reigning with him? Yielding to him, sitting at his feet, listening to his words, entering his rest and letting heaven's best gush through your vest. <laughs> that is it, that's it. Let no religious spirit deceive you. You know, test yourselves whether you are in the faith. Do you not know that Jesus Christ is in you? <laughs> he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow, the overshadowing of the Almighty, the canopy of God. <laughs> It's the same overshadowing where Peter's shadow healed the sick. It's not a shadow of darkness. It's a covering canopy of glory. Test yourselves. Are you in that? <laughs> well, faith comes by hearing. If you're in the faith, faith comes by hearing. And hearing comes by spending time speaking to the rock. He's giving forth those living waters for you to come alive and be energized with might in the inner man and getting out of yourself and into himself, being strengthened with his strength and not your strength. Jesus bless your face with his grace. 